Yeah. Right, Victor. Yeah, Victor. Uh, picks up ourselves, local collector. A uh, large collection of cars. Thinning down a little bit because he's just got a few too many. Um, so he's moving out about seven and replacing it with one. <laughs> We've heard that before. Lovely car. Blue over grey, as you can see. Nice period. Sun, sun visor, as you can see. White wall flaps. All uh, enhance the uh, overall appearance of the car. Now it's a super. Victor Super, as you can see. Clearly see inside there, nice bench seat, marketed as a full six-seater, probably a tight six-seater to be fair, but um, very much a, a 60s Vauxhall flagship. Now the F-Type, as we know, is the most superb driving car. I'm going to run this around the village in a minute, just so I can tell people how, how nice it drives. Um, but they rotted for England. Uh, uh, they were even worse than Austin 1100 and 1300s. I mean, these these really did rot for England. Um, someone told me they were built out of cheap Polish steel. I don't know how true that is, but you just couldn't hold them together. They were dreadful. But this is a lovely car, nice colour, beautiful royal blue with a grey bottom, a lovely two-tone. Chrome's all lovely, as you can see. Even the grille, which is sort of monkey metal type of material, doesn't last uh, the, the test of time. But anyway, that, that's, that's, that's retained... Uh, uh, lovely chrome finish on the grill and what have you. <coughs> Period wheel trims that we can see. <coughs> Sensible door mirror on there. Lovely white steering wheel. Just love it. Three speed, 1500 engine. Plenty of power for enough. They go really well. Um, and they're nice and smooth. This is unusual. Look at this. The nice and blind on the back. Now that is unusual. Now, I haven't seen one of them for a long, long, long time. Venetian blind there. Look at that. Um, so, yeah, uh, generally speaking, a lovely, lovely car in lovely condition. From a good ownership, the gentleman knows his cars. Some manuals and bits and pieces and stuff in there. Look, some extra flaps in there, and um, just a, a real, a real joy to be honest. Because as I say, most of them are very, very rusty. It's a fair sign. Always check your your petrol flaps. Uh, one of the first places to go rusty is the bottom of the flaps and such like. Um, so a real joy to see a really nice one that would appear to be very, very largely unmolested. Interior, as far as I can see, looks pretty well original. I don't think that's been replaced at all, headlining included. Even the carpets look um, elderly. I would think they've probably been replaced at some stage, but a good while back. Um, and as we used to say in Luton, you could always tell a guy that drove an F-Type Victor because he limped. Because <laughs> every time he got in, he'd whacked his knee on that bit there that stuck out. <laughs> so uh, that was one of our funny sayings down there. Well, it was funny in its day anyway. Um, rear, rear wheel arches are good. I mean, they go rotten as a pair, as we all know. They're all good. At the early ones, the exhaust used to come through the bumper, you know, and consequently that the exhaust would right out and it would take the bumper with it. Dreadful thing. Driving down the road, driving one of these, and a the bumper fall off. I mean, they were just dreadful. But this is a lovely, lovely presentable car. Really nice show car. I think it'll, um, well, it would certainly enhance any any show that it went in, and it's ready to quick polish up and straight into a show. Mm. So I'm going to give it a drive around the village now. If anybody wants to know how it drives. Ring me through and I'll tell you absolutely honestly what I feel about it. Good. Okay.